Hi, my name is Vidal Shasney. I'm an eighth grade senior at Maho Bridges Academy. On my way home one day, a guy named Brandon stopped me on the street and asked me if he could interview me for his blog. He asked me who inspired me in my life and I said, my principal, Ms. Lopez. We raised over $1.4 million in a week or two. And next Thursday, we're going to Harvard. A large majority of our scholars come from the housing developments from this particular area, which is Brownsville, Brooklyn. They've depicted Brownsville as one of the poorest neighborhoods in New York City. We're known as the impact zone because there's so many other schools, so it tends to be a large number of incidents, crimes, physical aggression. However, when you come here and you look beyond, the children here aren't evil, they don't kill, they don't rob. You know, they're innocent individuals, so it's like almost a tale of two cities. Usually in Brownsville, it's really a hope college because some people in Brownsville don't have the money to go to college. My mom, she didn't go to college and my father didn't go to college, so I want to be the one in my family to go to college. Education to me is a form of empowerment. You don't have to have riches, but you can share history. You can share knowledge that can break cycles of what I consider generational genocide in which children are ending up in prison or they're ending up dead because they just don't know that they are worth anything more, that there's value to their lives. I have no doubt about me going to college because when I go to college, I'm going to practice medicine and law. I want to be a football player because I like football. I like contact and using all my energy. And if that doesn't work out, I like video games, and like technology and stuff like that. So I want to be a video game designer. For me, the goal of our trip to Harvard on April 2nd really is around starting the dialogue and preparing our children. Who will ever take them there? Who will ever give them that experience and that exposure? And I wanted them to know that they have options. We wait until it's too late, and I want the conversations to be more about how do we develop the pipeline into colleges and universities, as opposed to how do we stop the children from going into prison. discovering, exploring, building. You are going to love college. When you want it, you will work hard for it. This is your right. Because you deserve to be in this space, and you are now opening up the door, creating a legacy for those who will come behind you. I want to be an OBGYN. I want to major in culinary arts and minor in um, business. Architecture and design and have my own architecture and engineering firm. If you go to college, you're going to have a good degree and you got to have good jobs. I'm going to stay in school, graduate eighth grade, graduate high school, and go to college. Education makes a difference. And education allows you to pursue something that you're really passionate about. So it's important that you guys are thinking about your futures. It's important that you guys take trips like this. You don't let anybody tap your potential. And college is meant to uncount it. I think it's almost deja vu. I, I, I think I wanted them to be able to see that it was possible for them to walk on this ground and not shying away and feeling as though they didn't belong. Coming here does make me want to come to college because it gives you the opportunities to do stuff that lets you set out your comfort zone. And I'm going to make it happen by studying really hard and listening to my parents. I honestly thought it was just like cramming, just straight cramming, studying, everything, just studying. When I saw it, it's like a lot of fun. It's like a lot of things you can do here. So I think I really want to go to college now, like more than I did before. I just feel proud that all this came from people that care about how you turn out to be. 